Hi folks, Paul Boland here and welcome to another episode of the Night Track Vlog. So in today's episode we are going to talk about two games and some music and another movie. So let's dive in. So the first game we're going to deal with today is Blastoid. This is a game I made a few years ago and you know what? I, I love this game. I absolutely love this game. Basically, you take control of a spaceship in a zero gravity environment and you have to maneuver a little gun turret around also in this zero gravity environment, destroying all the bricks of each level. Along the way, you've got to collect ammo for the gun turret. This starts out as basic bullets, but as the time goes on, it moves up to missiles and then power-ups such as magnets and stuff like this. This game, I, I'm only after being playing this recently and this game is absolutely awesome. If I have, if I do say so myself, it, it's, it's just a joy to play it. It's a real game of skill. You gotta maneuver your ship carefully in that zero gravity environment while also making sure you don't lose the torrent and you've got to restock it with stuff, with ammo and stuff, and then you've got to take out all the bricks. Plus, in later levels, you encounter some unusual bricks. Deadly bricks. Let's just put it that way. Blastoid is free. Nitrack Productions freeware page, and I would definitely recommend if you're a fan of skill type games, this is something worth checking out. So stop by and pick it up. Now, I did say I was going to cover two games in this video, but before I cover the next game, I'm going to cover Paul Paul's music. This is also available free, Nitrack Productions freeware page. It's a zip file, and when you open it up, you will find a collection of music that I created back in the 1990s. I'm a very creative person, but when it comes to music, I know what I like when I hear it, that's about as much as I get. I don't really have an ear to create music. The music files that are in Paul's music zip file are, well they were created with a piece of software that shipped with a PC I had years ago. And it was a Microsoft piece of software which to this day I, I cannot find any reference to it anywhere. I can't even remember the full name of it. It was something like Microsoft Music Studio. But don't, don't quote me on that. Basically what it did was, it gave you all the, the music bars, you know? Like, like when you look at a sheet of music, you see the bars, it gave you that. And then it gave you notes. And you could drag and drop the notes onto the music bars. And that's how I created this. You then apply different instruments to different music bars and you get, you get music. <laughs> um, I just don't have the ear for creativity in music. I'm more visual. Look at my CGI work, my animations, look at my games. But music, no, I usually have to get my music elsewhere. But I did create this, these few songs, and they are Nitra Productions freeware page, Paul's Music, but they come with a commercial free license. Uh, providing you can find a use for them. I mean, they're not bad, but they're, they're not great. But if you can find a use for them in one of your projects, you're more than welcome to use them. So I hope you enjoy them. Now, I want to go on to the second game of this video. Anyone who follows Night Track Productions, be it via the website or the Facebook page, you will have seen this yesterday. I have announced a new bat and ball game called Blocks 3D. Basically, I'm not going to release too much information on this yet, but this game is very close to being released and it's my first 3D game. And it takes the traditional and classical 3D bat and ball game and it brings it into a third dimension. This has resulted in some of the most unique gameplay mechanics I have seen in any bat and ball game. Uh, I have shown this to a few people and they have said that there is nothing like this out there. And you know what? It is a joy to play this. If you like bat and ball games, Blocks 3D should definitely be something to keep on your radar. It will be released soon. I'm not finished it yet, but I'm not too far off. 
And when I do release it, I will then release some in-game footage and show you what Blocks 3D plays like. There will also be a demo version for you to check out. This will be a commercial piece of software, but it won't be too expensive, folks. <laughs> hey, gotta keep the lights on, right? <laughs> so, stick with me, folks, on this one. This is the most unique bat and ball game I have ever seen. And the fact that I've made it is great. <laughs> I hope that you will enjoy it too. But stick around. There will be more on this very soon. Finally, that takes us to this week's video. So, again, folks, we're dealing with the movies. And the video this week is another three-parter, and it's called The Stranger. After I made Enemy Unknown, I wanted to do, which was a sci-fi story, I wanted to do a horror. And I, I came up with this premise. Making this wasn't as issue related as making Enemy Unknown was. Uh, as you, you can see from last week's video, I had a lot of issues with that, with actors quitting, actors dying. <laughs> it was an interesting experience. I will admit, the main character, the stranger, I can't remember if he died or if he quit, but he did leave after, the, he was gone after the second movie. So I had to use the character creation tool in the movies to make a new actor that looked exactly like him because I needed him to finish the story off. Plus, a character who appears in the second installment of The Stranger does a cameo in the third, but you will have, see he has aged, <laughs> even though he's not supposed to. But anyway, anyway, this is a great story. I hope you enjoy it. And, um, well... Until next week, folks. Bye.
Well, I don't know. I wonder about the other guy, but no, 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 no. It's like, you don't want to. And there's a woman 
Sen de mutlu mu? Olmuyor. Well, I don't know. I wonder whether it's not. But it's better than that. But you don't want
Yeah. 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 Yeah.